If I could just grow three things in the garden to survive for the next year, what would they be? Out of all the choices of anything I've grown over the years, what would be my top three crops? If I had to only plant three crops to survive, you know, for my family to survive for the next year, my choices are based on what I've grown that has been successful for me, the most productive for me, and the least crop failures. Let's do them one at a time. Number one are beans. I grow green beans, but um, many of these varieties you can eat as green beans, and then you can also shell them out. Why do I say beans? Yeah, we've had some Mexican bean beetle problems in our time, but I have never planted beans and not gotten a huge amount of food from the beans. So I've never had a crop failure with beans. They always are productive. I can always fill up, you know, baskets with beans. That's why they're at the top of my list. Another reason they're at the top of the list is because the protein in them. And when you're growing veggies, protein can be a challenge. If I had to survive on just three crops, beans is my number one. Number two, these are sweet potatoes, but that's not number two for me because I've never grown sweet potatoes until this year. Number two, butternut squash. Why butternut squash on this list? Well, I'll tell you. They're pretty resistant to any pests I've seen in the garden, unlike yellow squash, zucchini, which can just be knocked out. The butternut squash, I have grown it, gosh, how many times? Maybe five or six years. I've never had a total crop failure, and I've almost every year had boxes of butternut squash. It stores with minimal effort, and it's highly nutritious. Um, you can fill your family's bellies with butternut squash. If I could only grow the three crops to survive, butternut squash would be on it because it's nutritious and it's a real producer in my experience. Number three is harder. I'm sure on beans and butternut squash, but number three is harder because I'm thinking about corn, but potatoes, man, potatoes are such a close choice. This is actually the plant that got me thinking about shooting this video. These are sunflowers, and I was thinking, what's something that I've, that's the easiest thing to grow that's always grown well? And sunflowers is that. It's the easiest thing to grow. I've never thrown down sunflower seeds and them not come up. If you look at just their size, I mean, the sunflowers dwarf everything else. They just grow like crazy. They all produce seeding heads. But I don't know if I can put sunflowers on this list because for us at least, they're not a main food crop. We'd really have to change your diet. They probably do though meet the requirements of protein and high nutrition, very productive, and fat. Potatoes, that's what I decide. You might disagree or agree on the nutritional benefit of eating a lot of potatoes, but if you pair them with a good protein and with squash, you could fill your bellies with potatoes easily from you know a, a moderate sized garden and they're easy to store. That's the, that's the thing that probably wins me over to potatoes. They're easy to grow and they're easy to store. So in review, my top three survival crops, if I had to pick right now, just from my experience, beans, butternut squash, and potatoes. I would love to hear your top choices if I asked you the same question. So if you could only pick three and you had to pick now, leave a comment below and tell me your three crops and what you think of mine.